Hey friend, welcome back to a brand new makeup transformation video. It is your Creative Weird Makeup Pal Cat Sketch to bring you another creepy look. Inspired by the holidays, I thought that I would do a makeup look inspired by Brandy Milne. If you haven't heard of this artist, her artwork is exquisite and she has this melting skull and these very cute adorable snowmen. I kind of want to combine the two and make my own creepy snowman that's like a melting skull a little bit. We'll see if we could do it. But if you have not heard, I am doing Amazon live shows, so you can follow me on my social media accounts to know when those will go up. You can also follow me on my Amazon live show. And we have an Amazon wish list if you want to support this channel even further. And you can write me to a PO box now as well. Shout out to these people for leaving amazing comments and let's get started with the video. I know it looks like I'm naked. I'm not. I'm wearing a tube top today because we're going to paint some white. We're going to have a scarf, a hat. It's going to be cute and creepy, I hope. I'm using a wig cap just to get my hair out of the way because I am going to be doing a hat, but I also don't want to do completely bald. I mean, honestly, we don't need to if we're wearing a hat, so this is just the next best thing in my opinion, so that you don't have to wear a bald cap underneath a hat because that will get really hot very quick, even though it's the winter time. Ooh, I'm really excited too because I just realized I could apply a lot of sparkle on top of this to make it look really snowy and special. All right, we are going to block them eyebrows out. You guys know the drill. If you've been watching my videos for a while, I do about three or four layers of this. Just scrub that purple glue stick in your brows. You want to use purple, especially if you have darker brow hairs like moi. Um, it doesn't matter, honestly, but I like purple because you can tell when it dries because it dries clear from purple. So that's very helpful. You just want to get a disposable like brush like this wand and rub them through so that they lay flat on your face. And then you can get your powder and powder puff and just go like this. We're going to do this about three or four times. The outline. We're going to do an upside down heart shaped nose bone of this skull look. Right? Yeah. And then squiggly eye lines that look like blobs of... You remember when we drew in like middle school mitochondria and cell formations? That's what these eyes remind me of. That's exactly what these eyes remind me of. And then a drippy mouth. I might do pink here where it's like, you know, the out part of the side of the skull. I'm just winging this as the designs. For the color today, I'm definitely using my Mayron Aqua Paints. These are tried and true and so good. I love the new packaging that they come in. It's so amazing. Regular smegular paintbrush and just doing around the outlines, coloring in that white snow. And then we're going to go with some pink and red later. But oh my gosh, there's so many good TV shows coming out this holiday and makeup products. There, I'm probably definitely going to have a substantial semi good monthly favorites videos. I don't know if people like to watch those, but I love making them. And me having fun, does that count? I sound like a spoiled little brat child, but honestly, I like watching people's favorites, so why not make them? Let me know in the comments if you like to watch people's favorites. Monthly favorite videos. I know I do. Sweet baby Jesus, I hope this turns out well. This is so intricate than I expected. Is it gonna look like someone just threw bird poo on my face? <laughs> Alright, now that that's dry, we're gonna get some powder and powder her down because we're gonna put more powder on her later. But we're also gonna color in the these parts. Getting Miss Pink here. And we're just gonna create the insides and we're gonna combine it with red later and make them into blobs. I like to paint in color blocking method because I'm a totally different human than most makeup artists I feel like because I studied art before makeup. Like I was doing watercolor paintings, charcoal drawings, sketching, all that before I even went to makeup school or was fascinated with makeup, I went to art school. I feel like that graphic logo intro to Saved by the Bell TV show in the 80s, just all over my face. Now I'm gonna get a darker pink in color outside here. I'm gonna give this skull like a little butt chin. To give the eyes more depth, I'm gonna put some red and black in it. This is my Makeup a Murder palette. This thing's amazing. 
I feel like makeup artists, they all have to do skulls sometime in their career. It's always a trend, especially around Halloween. So why not bring the Halloween trend into Christmas looks? Just getting a push liner brush and then doing the edges so that there's like a pink crease on the outside. And you want to even bring it below the outlines according to your reference and to make the cheekbones stand out more too. You can even like draw in the bone with the shadow. Almost like it's crying blood to be honest or like smear stains of blood. When you're putting your dirty brushes aside, I would have one cup for wets and one cup for powdered eyeshadows, but we're gonna go in with some matte black now and just press this in to where we need shadow inside the skull, eyes. You can even get some pink shadow over that to blend it in better within the black. Again, just pressing the black in. Imagine you showing up to a Christmas party like this. Spook them all. Don't ask me for Christmas gifts this year. I'm just gonna show up like this if you do. Honestly, Christmas is not my favorite holiday and it's sad for me to say. I don't know what it is about Christmas. It reminds me of sadness on people that aren't in my life anymore that pass. I notice if you tap and pull the shadows, it works better with this. All right, now for the kicker, we need blue. This is the color Drip Drip from the Vivid's Colored Rain palette. This palette is off the chain. It's so good. Like, if I could buy this palette multiple times, I would. Like, I mean, have multiples on me all the time because I'm about to hit pan on some of them. They're so good. I'm just getting this blue and I'm patting it in more shadow areas. And randomly, there's some yellow in this as well. There's even a little purple in here, wow. Now, I'm just gonna get a peachy, like, with some gray, and I'm gonna dust around to make shadows. And I'm just gonna do some shadow here as well, around the pink and the skull, with matte black eyeshadow, of course, and on the earlobes. I think my original plan of doing like the snowman eyes and stuff will look really tacky and weird with this. So I'm just gonna get a detailed like thin nail art brush and start doing little highlight marks where I think it needs it, like the painting. Now, to hopefully make this cooler, not that it's not cool, I think it's looking cool. I'm gonna get some sparkly gel sparkles and put it on the face. I'm thinking of the high points too, where snow would glisten on the face and skull is where I want to put this glitter, you know? I just love this glitter. It's from ColourPop. It's the Lakers one. I love it so much. Now, getting the white aqua paint and we're going to put that on our body. Just smearing that everywhere. So I'm going to put this on, put my hat and scarf and we will be back. And just like that, we've completed this look of a recreation from Brandy Milne's art. She is one of my absolute favorite artists for a very long time, so it was an honor to recreate her work into a creepy, snowy-themed holiday look of this melting skull snowman. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. This was so much fun. Leave a comment down below on what other videos you would love to see, and if I pick your comment, I will definitely shout you out in the next video. And of course, we are doing Amazon Live, so you can check that out on my social media accounts when they are live, and you can go click at my show, actually, and click the follow button to be notified when I do live shows, and I also have an Amazon wish list if you care to look at that. To support this channel even further, it's weird to talk with my eyes closed, but we also have a PO box you can write me to. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. We do not only effects body paintings like this, but beauty makeups as well. I post every Monday and Friday, and I hope you guys stick around so I can see your faces. This looks like a creature from a creepy pasta storytelling of like something bumping around the night outside your house during a snowy evening, but I love it. Boy, is it gonna be hard to take this off with all of this oh, glitter. If you did not know, scotch tape with glitter is a dream come true. Taking off glitter is so much easier when you have tape. You have to do this before going into the shower, in my opinion. Oh my goodness, I love this glitter, but it's so such a pain to take off. Remember, cleansing oils are better than makeup remover wipes, in my opinion. 
You can also get reusable makeup wipes. I love the makeup erasers. Actually, for the holidays, they have a Disney villains themed and Disney themed products by the makeup eraser brand if you want to check those out. I'm definitely going to be putting that on my Christmas list. Oh my goodness. Taking this off is going to be such a hassle, but it's worth it. Doing this for you guys gives me so much joy. On my days off of work, I definitely love coming here and talking to you all and doing these makeups. Again, makeup eraser makes great products. This is what this is. It's just a cloth that you can wet and it literally takes off all your makeup. Micellar water does help too. Bioderma, so expensive, but so worth it. Again, so expensive, but so worth it. They also have the drugstore brands like L'Oreal, which is great, but it has like liquidous like oil in it. That's not my favorite. And this feels like water on your face, Bioderma does. Oh my gosh, all the black paint in my ears is gonna be so difficult. Again, scotch tape, amazing. I'm gonna so regret putting on this much glitter. I'm gonna go take a shower, but I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all, bye.